Okay, Shalom Akim. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and all glory unto the true and living power, which is Yahweh, Bahashem, and Awashai, Bahashem, Rekal, Kadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son. There is no God beside them. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who well, who have taught us this truth through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, and Awashai, and honors and citations to the elect Dachim, doing these works in sincerity and in truth. So I'm going to title this, uh, Learn, Practice, Execute, okay? You know, it's as simple as that. You know, it's a small uh, recipe to success, man. You know, learn, practice, execute. And I was thinking back from uh, when I was uh, pretty much on a wrestling team, you know, which, you know, originally I didn't want to join it, but I, I was kind of forced to, and I ended up loving it, you know? It was like some warrior shit, man. But pretty much within that, it's the same concept, you know, that can be applied to these scriptures. And when you apply it to the flesh, like the Apostle Paul said, they do it to attain a corruptible crown. We an incorruptible when you apply it to the flesh, it, it can bring forth a corruptible crown. So how much more applying it to the spirit? So pretty much you know how it went. I think at the beginning of every week, they uh, showed us a new move. So that's like these scriptures. You, you come across a new scripture, or it could be an old, old scripture, it doesn't matter. But you come across a scripture. Right, and then you know the coach will show us the move. Say, all right, all right, bang. So now we just saw a new move. That's the knowledge. You're learning a new move. Then you say, all right, back. Go practice it. Practice it for like twenty minutes, however long, man. Now as you practice it, what you're beginning to understand it, and that's what leads me to the scripture here. This is Second Timothy, two and fifteen. It says, study to show thyself approved unto the Most High. So, studying, practicing, they go hand in hand. You know, so just as you practice the move over and over for like 20 minutes, you know, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, however long, we get that scripture, right, which is the knowledge. Now we begin to study it inside and out, thus building up understanding of it. You know, the more you drill it in your head, the more you can begin to understand it. You know, the more you meditate on it, the more you begin to understand it. The more you pray to Yahweh Bashim al Shai to understand it, the more you'll begin to understand it. You know? We come across these scriptures, we don't uh, try and wing it. If you don't get it right now, so be it. You pray to the Yahweh Bashim al Like, Lord, please help me understand our scripture. You know, or you could ask a brother. You know, hey, you know, hey, I, I was wondering about this scripture, you know. But the thing, the thing is, like, the more we study it, the more understanding we get on it. You know, just like how in wrestling, the more you uh, practice it, the more you understand it. And the next thing you know, boom, you're doing it flawlessly right so again it says study to show thyself approved unto the most high a workman that needeth not to be ashamed rightly dividing the word of truth so boom once you get the knowledge then you get the understanding by practicing it or studying it guess what now last but not least you get the wisdom which is the same thing as uh, learn, practice, execute. The wisdom is the execution of what you've learned and what you've understand. Now you execute it when it comes in the real deal scenario. So um, <clears throat> let me uh go here to the word study in the Greek. All right, it's right here. I don't got the guy. It's crazy. 
I don't got the guy to uh break uh, say the word, but it's from the uh pretty much the word there for study goes into what hasten make haste to exert oneself in dover and give diligence. See, so once you continuously diligently study or diligently practice. Now, when it comes down to the real deal scenario, you know, like I said, I think back to the wrestling team. Now, when you got this guy that you about to go at it with in front of a, a, a whole crowd, loud as hell, <laughs> you execute. You you now you utilize the wisdom, everything you've been practicing, you know, the move that you learned, how much you've been practicing it, how much you've been studying it. You finally execute it. And that's the same thing how I think in these scriptures. You know. Um, Let me just give a, a scripture. For an example. Right. Because now when you, you know that scripture. You come across the scripture. You you studying it. Practicing it over and over. Building up your understanding. Now when you're in that scenario. Right. And you're testing on that scripture. You you uh, uh you uh, execute it, man. You execute that scripture, and that's thus now you can say you have wisdom, All right? So let me give an example of Book of Sirach. That's just like wrestling, man. You get tested on 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 what you've been practicing the whole time in real deal competition. And guess what? The more you've been studying it. The more you've been practicing it, okay, the better chance you have to win. But if you bullshitting, you're not giving diligence, you're going to get your ass whooped, man. See, that's why it's very important to study. That's why our script says study, give diligence in studying to show yourself approved. Because that's how you get the understanding, man. Then when you have that understanding, you can execute it, which uh, um, brings forth wisdom. So this is just an example, Ecclesiasticus 30 and 25. A cheerful and good heart will have a care of his meat and diet. So boom, that's the scripture. That's the knowledge. Now you continuously study it, drill it in your head, you know, acquainted with or uh, practice it. Practicing, you know, studying in this case, you know, you bring out the whole diet topic because the scripture covers like every single topic there ever is <laughs> pretty much when you think about it, you know, especially things that is beneficial to us to please your Bash and Shai, the scriptures will cover it. So you just study up the diet topic, study up the meat topic. You know, it's a lot of scriptures that speak upon meat, a lot of scriptures that speak upon diet. And, you know, we got the scriptures here, the knowledge. We continuously study it, continuously study it, study it, study it, drill it in our brains. And then now, boom, when you're at the grocery store or, you know, or boom, somebody offers you something that's uh, not a meat day for you. Bang, bang, Ecclesiasticus 30 and 25 should pop in your head, man. You've been studying it. You you understand it. Now you got to execute. You know, yo, yo, you want some of this? Ecclesiasticus 30 and 25 pops in your head. A cheerful and good heart will have a care of his meat and diet. You know, ain't a day that I be eating meat. Nah, bro, I'm good. And then it's like, boom, now you got wisdom. You know, you've been tested on it and you pass, you won. And then guess what? When you continuously do that, you uh, grow, you get better, you know? So, you know, I was just uh, really meditating on that. You know, it's like the same thing, as, you know, when I was wrestling and shit, man, like you learn, you practice, you execute it. So, we see how very much important it is to practice, to study, to give diligence. 
so that we may use wisdom, which is why. Yep, see? Well, I was going to get Isaiah 33 and 6, but it looks like it might be more on this. But yeah, knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of our times. Because we're going to have the understanding and we're going to have the knowledge to uh, move wisely. Okay? So this is, yeah, back in this Greek word here. It says uh, to exert oneself. And I think they say uh, he exert, I think you can say he exerted, exerted himself in the lineup. You know, within basketball, I meaning he's been working his ass off so bad that now he's a starter. <laughs> you know, when he was coming off the bench. That's the things that diligence can do for you. You know, not fucking around, man. Not playing around. And, and taking the truth serious. You know, not to be uh, associated with Jam Master J and his, his crew. Okay, so down in the strongest definition... From G4710 to use speed, that is to make effort. See? Make an effort. Be prompt or earnest. Do or give diligence. Be diligent forward. Endeavor, labor, study. See? So, yeah, man, that's pretty much it, you know? Like, the key is, is, is the extreme importance of practicing. Because if you don't practice, when the real deal comes... You just gonna flop. Alright? And this is a spiritual fight that we in. So, and that's why scripture say be sober, be vigilant. Because your adversary the devil has a wrong line, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. And that's why we gotta be vigilant, man. Our head on a swivel, not settled on our lees. So, hey man. You know, you gotta take take this truth deadly serious. Okay, because uh, I keep quoting scripture a lot, man. The Apostle Paul said, they do it to obtain a corruptible crown. We are incorruptible. And when you're in that sports world, that shit's serious, bro. That sports world stuff is serious, man. Like wrestling, boxing, football. It ain't a joke. It's a warrior sport. But it ain't a, it ain't a nickel on a dollar, man. It's not even a nickel on a dollar, man. What do you see? <laughs> it's not even a fucking dime on a dollar compared to how serious Jacob's trouble is. So how much more of a serious mindset should we be in? You know? And of course, it's with a balance. You know, we still be joking and laughing and stuff. But scripture says one that, you know, he laughs, but inwardly he's sad. So Lord, we're going to edify and I'm going to say Shalom.